hello viewers and welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, secondary hypertension and um, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition in that case you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and to subscribe this channel uh, you can uh, click the uh, subscribe button just below this video uh, and uh, uh, you'll see a uh, bell icon there you know so don't forget to uh, click their bell icon and you can also uh, see the uh, link for my website in the description you know so you can use that link to uh, visit the website now we come to the topic what is secondary hypertension uh, you know, secondary hypertension are the secondary high blood pressure, you know. So hypertension means high blood pressure. Uh, is the high blood pressure that is caused by uh, like uh, another medical condition, you know. And uh, it can be caused by conditions that uh, affect your kidneys, uh, your arteries, your heart, your endocrine system. So, it can also occur during the pregnancy, you know. Okay. So, which is known as the pregnancy-induced hypertension, you know. And the secondary hypertension differs from the um, usual type of the high blood pressure, which is known as primary hypertension or the essential hypertension, you know. And it's often referred to as simply the high blood pressure or the hypertension, you know. And uh, it has no clear cause and is thought to be linked to like genetics, poor diet, lack of exercise and uh, obesity, you know, or overweight, you know, being overweight, you know. And the proper treatment for the secondary uh, hypertension can often control both the underlying uh, condition and uh, the high blood pressure uh, which reduces the risk of serious complications including like heart disease or kidney failure or stroke or heart attack you know so the next thing is what are the symptoms of uh, 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 this condition you know you know like uh, primary hypertension or primary uh, high blood pressure you know uh, the secondary hypertension usually has no specific signs or uh, symptoms and uh, uh, even if your blood pressure has reached the dangerously high levels, you know, you don't have any symptoms. Okay. And if you have been diagnosed with uh, high blood pressure uh, and having any of the symptoms like uh, 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 may mean that your condition is uh, uh, secondary uh, hypertension, the symptoms like high blood pressure, which... Uh, uh, which does not respond to blood pressure medications, you know. So if that's the case, this means that this is secondary hypertension, you know, which is causing due to any underlying condition. And uh, if there's a very high blood pressure, which means that uh, uh, systolic blood pressure over 180 millimeters of mercury, uh, that's diastolic blood pressure over 120 uh, like uh, millimeters of mercury, you know. So if that's the case, you know, um, it could be the secondary, you know, and uh, a blood pressure medication or the medications that previously controlled your blood, uh, they are no longer effective, okay, or uh, like a certain onset of the high blood pressure, like before the age of 30, you know, or maybe after the age of 55, you know, so that's uh, uh, could be any underlying cause, you know. And if you, your blood pressure was normal by the age of 55 and all of a sudden it goes high, you know, which means that uh, there may be any underlying condition which is causing this uh, high blood pressure, you know. Okay. Uh, and if there is no family history of high blood pressure and you are having the high blood pressure, you know. Okay. And if you are not obese but you are having the high blood pressure, which means that there may be any other underlying cause which is causing this uh, high blood pressure. Okay, and uh, the next thing is what are the causes, you know, like, uh, as I said that uh, 
for this type of the hypertension and uh, there are some underlying causes you know. and uh, uh, the number of conditions can cause uh, secondary hypertension like uh, maybe diabetes complications you know or maybe the like uh, uh, glomerular diseases you know maybe renovascular hypertension you know or maybe Cushing syndrome or maybe like uh, uh, aldosteronism you know or maybe uh, like uh, few chromocytomas you know or maybe thyroid tumors or maybe like hyperthyroidism or maybe like the uh, like uh, like correctation of the like of uh, aorta you know sleep apnea so there are multiple uh, conditions uh, uh, which can cause the secondary hypertension you know and uh, obesity is another reason you know or maybe pregnancy or the medication then the supplements you know so there are so many uh, things which can cause this uh, secondary hypertension you know and uh, the greatest risk factor of having the secondary hypertension is having the medical condition that can cause the high blood pressure such as kidneys or the arteries and the heart and uh, the endocrine system problems you know and uh, you know secondary hypertension can uh, worsen the underlying medical condition uh, you have that is causing the high blood pressure you know and if you don't receive the treatment uh, it can be associated with uh, other medical conditions such as uh, damage to the arteries or maybe aneurysm or maybe heart failure or maybe uh, weak and narrow blood vessels in the kidneys you know which can cause the kidney problems you know uh, metabolic syndromes or maybe like trouble with the memory and understanding you know so it can cause uh, uh, these things you know and the next thing is how do the doctors diagnose the secondary hypertension and once diagnosed then what are the treatment options you know you know to diagnose uh, this condition your doctor will first uh, take the blood pressure reading uh, and your doctor may and not diagnose you with the secondary hypertension based on high blood pressure than the normal blood pressure reading, you know. And it may take three to six uh, high blood pressure readings, the measurements to separate uh, uh, appointments, you know, to diagnose the secondary hypertension. If there's no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, there's no obvious reason is found, you know. And your doctor will uh, also want to check other markers to pinpoint the cause of high blood pressure. And uh, which may include like uh, the blood tests, you know. So we will perform the blood test. We check the urine examination. Uh, we will perform, you know. Uh, he will uh, order the ultrasound of your kidneys, you know, and maybe the ECG, you know. And uh, uh, so this way, uh, he will try to he will perform or order these tests to diagnose the secondary hypertension, you know. And he may be able to find any underlying condition. You know? Okay, so then uh, that underlying condition uh, need to be addressed uh, to control this uh, secondary hypertension. Okay, now uh, because uh, if uh, uh, the secondary hypertension is diagnosed, then the, simply the high blood pressure medication will not work, you know, unless you address that underlying cause. Okay, so once diagnosed, then the treatment uh, uh, like uh, uh, of the underlying medical condition requires uh, and uh, maybe with the medication or maybe with the surgery you know and once an underlying condition is uh, effectively treated uh, the secondary hypertension may decrease or even return to the normal you know and uh, the lifestyle changes such as eating healthy foods increasing the physical activities uh, maintaining the healthy weight so these are help uh, to keep your blood pressure low you know and uh, you may need uh, uh, to continue to like take the blood pressure medications as well uh, and uh, any underlying medical condition uh, you may affect uh, uh, you have it may affect your uh, uh, like uh, your doctor's choice of medication you know okay so the possible drug choices uh, include like uh, maybe uh, thiazide diuretics, you know, which are also known as the u urine pills or the water pills, you know, uh, just to get rid of the excessive 
accumulation of fluids in the body you know and uh, uh, beta blockers uh, these are the medication which are uh, it, their function is that they reduce the workload on your heart and by just opening or uh, dilating the blood vessels you know and uh, causing your heart to beat slower and with the less force you know and uh, the other uh, type of drugs are like uh, angiotensin converting enzymes inhibitors also known as ac inhibitors you know and these medications uh, their function is that they help to relax the blood vessels by blocking the formation of uh, a chemical that narrows the blood vessels you know right and uh, like angiotensin 2 receptor blockers so these medications help to relax the blood vessels by blocking the reaction of the like uh, a natural chemical that narrows the blood vessels you know and the calcium channel blockers are other type of medications and their function is that uh, they help to relax the muscles of your blood vessels and the slow your heart rate you know diuretics uh, like uh, 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 there's I told earlier you know and uh, uh, direct uh, or renin inhibitors so uh, like the recent treatment for the hypertension includes like uh, a direct renin inhibitor such as uh, uh, LS screen you know it relaxes and widens the arteries by preventing the action of the renin you know and it's an enzyme uh, in a cascade of steps in which the production of chemicals like uh, 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 important in the cardiovascular health and disease you know so uh, these are the medications which can be used and the treatment uh, uh, can sometimes be complicated you know and uh, you may need more than uh, uh, one medications and it may need to be combined with the healthy lifestyle changes you know like uh, 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 to maintain the healthy weight reduce the stress and uh, regular exercising eating healthy food so the combination of the medications with the healthy lifestyle uh, uh, is helpful you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye